so a very warm welcome back to the class student in our last topic we have discussed exercise 10.1 so uh, today exercise 10.2 is not so important as because that chapter is fully related to the figure so we'll discuss exercise 10.3 so the topic is area what uh, lastly we have discussed perimeter the total distance covered by any object or surface is the perimeter now here we will see what is area so let's see with the example for this figure this outer this outer distance this outer this is the perimeter it gives the perimeter suppose 5 cm 4 cm 5 cm 4 cm so perimeter means 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 so 28 uh, sorry 18 is the perimeter out here then what is area area means if i want to uh, cover this with a carpet then uh, obviously we will cover it in the inner place right so the so the measurement of this inner surface it will give the area okay so what is area area is nothing but amount of surface enclosed by a closed figure is called an area now there are certain rules to find area for different types of figure for rectangle there is different uh, you can say formula for square there is different formula now let's see for a rectangle since we know that a rectangle is having opposite sides equal so area of rectangle area of rectangle is equals to 2 uh, not 2 uh, it will be length into breadth means this length into breadth okay now here we can see that 5 cm into 4 cm it will be 20 cm square so student one very important thing that is the unit for area will always be in square or you can write 20 square cm you can either write in this way or you can write in this way also better you write in this way because 5 for the 20 then this for 2 cm it will be square clear so this is all about area of rectangle what for area of square when there will be square then s q u a r e it will be side into side as we all know that the sides of all the sides of the square is equal so here suppose if it will be 4 cm it will also be 4 and this will also be 4 then it will uh, be a figure of square for that it will simply 4 cm into 4 cm 16 cm square is the area of the square okay so student one more thing suppose if area is given okay in some questions this may happen that area is given uh, like for rectangle length is given you need to find out the breadth or area is given you need to find out the side then what you will do like for rectangle what we have done uh, for suppose area is area is equal to length into breadth suppose area is given and length is given then length is equals to breadth by area or breadth is equals to length by area you just need to put the value of length 
then put the value of area then simply find out the value of breadth in case of square area is equals to side into side or we can say side square then what will happen if area is given suppose 100 then side in square is equals to 100 so side is equal to root over of 100 that is 10 for that we need to find out the root over okay square it will be the square root of 100 is 10 so here this 10 centimeter is the side of a given area okay so this is all about how to find out the area, how to find out the length, breadth, if area is given, how to find out the size. So your chapter 10.3 is related to this. Then what the marks for mark question you have to do in your copy. Okay, this much.